Hello, everybody. Good morning from the East Coast, where Prime and I are located. It's very early in the morning for us. And good evening for all of you in Australia, where the beautiful Tamara is located. We, of course, speaking of Australia, I have a lot of subscribers from Australia. I'm sure Prime does, too. We are thinking about you guys. We are praying all for you guys. Out in Australia. Salute. <laughs> We are standing behind the people are what make the country, not the government. And so the Australian people, we are all standing behind you and praying for you. And you hold the line. You guys are the toughest of the bunch right now. We are with you in solidarity. But anyway, on with the show. Hello, Tamara. Hello, Prime. Welcome. I'm so excited. We got the handsome Prime and the beautiful Tamara. I have to say, though, People on our side of this battle are so good looking. Have y'all noticed that? It's the light. Yes. I think it's the, it's the energy. Yeah, it's, it's it's the energy. And I was just talking to, I just did. Oh, that um, shit price. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a, um, a, you know, a soul reading session for one of your people, Bryce. Yeah. And I said to her, I said, you know what? She goes, what? I said, this keeps on coming up with every every person that I've read for over the last couple of weeks. And what I keep on getting is September and October are going to be very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very important. And it's like things are going to be moving. So they've started as of the first and it's moving, moving forward. And then I kept on getting um, for everyone six months after the end of October, we will all be smelling the sweet smell of success. Things will be in bloom. But what's happening over that six month period, things are going to be released gradually. And it's like the first thing's going to be released. So then people will then like eat that uh -huh. and then have to digest that and then it would roll on to the next thing. But it was so funny, Bryce, because and Prime, at the end of the six months, I sort of looked and I went, what's that at the end of the six months? And here are all of these people standing at the end of the six months. And I looked and I went, okay, Okay, God, okay, guys, what's that? And he said, they're all of the ones that are enlightened. They're all of the ones that have woken up. They're already at the end of the six months. We're gone, we're gone, right, right. Yeah, we're all there because That's we've right. already got it. We've already seen it. Yes. And, we, and, yeah, and we've already heard it. That's right. So we're already there. So it's going to be a six-month rollout for those that have been asleep to feed them, to get them. It's the wake up. And then they will join us at the end of the six months. Do you know what got, came into my head, that song Amazing Grace? I once was blind, oh. but now I see. Oh, now oh. I see. It, yeah. I, I, like absol absolutely, Yeah. So, yeah. like, so here we are in September, and I'm telling you, wasn't August. August has worked out is exactly what I said, Bryce. It's yep. like tough. <laughs> you know, I said it's going to be a really, really tough, difficult month, yeah. and there's going to be, like, a lot of the, it was the death and the transformation, yeah, but a tough month, a tough month, yeah? Yeah, but what you wasn't it, Prime? August was a tough month, wasn't it? For me? Yeah, for all of us. Well, it was interesting, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was a learning experience of what the fuck. You know, <laughs> what what this, happened? What's going on? You know, what's really happening? What and, happened uh, here? You want to talk about it, Prime? Well, okay, first let me just say this salute to all of the patriots out there. And salute to you, Bryce. Um, one of the best people in the movement in your audience, you oh. know. That she's, she's a woman of respect and a true patriot and a true light worker. She's a do-gooder. And um, God are, bless you. Uh, yeah, yeah you, <clears throat> we all are. <laughs> um, so God bless you for that. Um, when I got involved in this movement, you know, and I, and I took up the, the assignment to, you know, to be involved in sharing information, um, exposing lies, um, 
I took on a lot, you know what I mean? And I understood that as African-American patriot, I came in, uh, one, to defend the president that he wasn't a racist. That was one of my main objectives from the beginning. And then it kind of just grew into other things with the commissioning from uh, General Flynn and, you know, some of the prophetic words of Mark Taylor and the different, Mark Taylor, Kim Clement, and all these things. <clears throat> I knew faith was a big part of um, what is happening. This is the move of God. This is a move of God that is uh, manifesting itself in uh, a military fashion. God is God is doing a military work in this world. He's, he's exercising judgment. He's also bringing about the second coming of Christ, which I've been telling people a long time. Now, the Christ is the preeminent thing, but it's not the religion that people think. The Christ yes. is a spirit that governs the light that comes from God. It's his conscious. It comes down into us and it makes us much more like him. You know what I mean? And... <clears throat> When I, but when I got in this, I didn't push a lot of religion because I knew it would divide the people. So I, I focused on patriotism and yeah. the, the patriotism was better than any church. The patriotism was better just I, to hell with any doctrinal belief systems or any religion, dogma, anything. Just looking at how the people interact with one another, the communication, the jubilation, love, the, the support, friendship, the bond. Everything was positive. It was nothing but love. If that was the only thing that mattered, every, there was no problems. Um, Janine, I, may, I, may I say something here? Yeah. I used to love you with your popcorn. I stuffed my face with the popcorn. I remember you way said, back, <laughs> way back with your bowl of popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it was, a, it was a method to the madness. You know, what I'm saying everything that I was doing back then and everything, but, um, you know. When I, when I first met Janine, you know, one of the things, and, and there's so many things that I want to express right now because I think people need to understand what's really happened from a spiritual perspective. This spirit of the Christ is coming down. Um, as the scripture says, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Okay. Yep. So, yep. So, so, so what's happening is, is that God is communicating through everything. He's communicating through the Christian, the Muslim, the Jew. He's communicating through, if you got the tarot cards, he's coming through. That, and I, so that's what I was noticing. When I was listening to, to uh, Janine, um, everything that she was being led is not how I was being led. When I look at even the different religions, you see Trump over there in the Middle East working with the Jew yep. who rejects that Jesus is the Christ. They crucified Christ. He's yeah, also yeah. working with the Muslim who hates the Jew because he thinks they stole their land. Yeah, but yeah. he's but they're all coming into an agreement with the Christ. The That's Christ true. consciousness is pushing through every platform. Um, another confirmation of this that comes from God. Yeah. Correct. That comes, another, that, comes, that comes from God. And the thing is, Prime, is that Janine, I call Janine my angel. She's my angel because all of us that do the work that we do, we can't do this on our own. We need support. I'm there to support people that call on me. You know, like I, I tune into Janine and I go, okay, or I'll ring my girls and I'll go, what does Janine have to say today? And the girls will go, oh, well, this, this, this and this, and I go, cool, yeah, because I do the tarot as well. Not like her. I mean, she is so gifted. In, with her talent. Well, is this, yeah? in, in and the thing really is that years and years and years and years ago, before we had before we had voice, before we had communication, we used to communicate communicate in pictures. We've got the stations of the cross. What is it? Pictures. You go into Central Australia and what of the Aboriginals? We can go in and there's all of the cave paintings. Pictures, pictures. Pictures. That's how we communicate it. Yeah. yeah. And that's when people have visions, right? Like when you have a vision, you see something. It's an image. Yeah. It's like a picture it's you're your seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Kim Clement. Kim Clement. Oh, Kim Clement. Oh, don't even go. Oh. The prophet. Oh, my God. That man. There's oh. a part of his prophecy where he begins to explain that when God begins to move, in this particular time, everything is going to be speaking his message. He says, the view, what I want you to say, you know, the New York 
Times or whatever, he goes on down the list of all of them, the mainstream media, and he says what I want them to say. These are wicked establishments too, yeah. founded and established in wicked works. Okay, yeah. but God yeah. is going to speak to them. And, and here's the thing: the church is just as profane, but the church will also speak His message. Yeah. And 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 so I think what's happening is instead of judging the tree by its fruit, we're yeah. judging the tree by its bark. And by some external kind of preconceived notion, this is evil, not because of what it's doing, just because it's that in that particular outfit. God, God is communicating. Watch this. He's yeah. also communicating through Gematria. Everybody's falling in yeah. love with Gematria. Yeah. But Gematria yeah. is just as abstract. Yeah. As, yeah. Watch this. It's just as abstract as any other type of belief system. Watch this. Gematria, astrology, um, numerology, all these things. And then on top of that, we did the meeting with um, 48. We did it with Wano Saban. Uh, you know, 48 was expressing the significance of the 7-7. Seven, seven. Then Wano Saban in the following morning sent me a text of a, of a Christian prophet who prophesied that the number 7-7 seven, seven was going to be the key. So here you got the Jamantria talking to 7-7. Seven, seven. The, yeah. the prophet comes out of nowhere and says, 7-7 yeah. seven, seven is, is how God is going to signify that he's coming back and going to bring a, bring his judgment. Coming back is going to be an earthquake, 7.7. Seven. Now the earth, now the, now, the, now the weather is also communicating the same message. So I don't think people understand the grand scale that God is moving, pouring out the spirit on all flesh and everything is saying the same thing. This was the Absolutely. foolish, this, this was the sick thing about the whole fallout between me and Jerry. This was the whole sick thing is that Janine agrees with what we, what we believe. So she's not, she's not, she has not taken the, the movement and turned us against one another. So, so it didn't make any, there was no fruit. There was no fruit to launch any attack towards her. She had not done anything wrong. She's in agreement. And if you are saying that she's consulting a demon, we have to resolve one matter. The Bible says that Satan would never cast out Satan. So then why would Satan speak through Janine to help and support to save the world? That's, what do you think about yeah. that, Tamara? Yeah, um, it's like, I, look, I don't, I don't know who you've, who's attacked you, Prime, or what this is all about listen um, my chat room i built my whole platform thousands of people from around the world and australia yeah. too i started yeah. the worldwide patriot salute we were saluting all australia i brought everybody no. together under patriotism i've been in christian yeah. church all my life there's 750 yeah. million yeah. billion trillion denominations and they all hate each other they all <laughs> hate each other right now right now in the name of jesus christ they all hate each other this is nuts it's absolutely it's nuts. Bonkers, and yes. I, I found that patriotism did what Christianity couldn't do. And I said, wow, maybe God will decide to just infuse his whole spirit and life into patriotism and show the church a thing or two. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's like, you know, like my dad, my dad had a great saying. And when I was a little girl, he sort of like, he called me outside. And he said, Min, what are you standing on? I said, I'm standing on the ground. He said, no, he said, you're standing on the floor of, God, of God's church. And he said, look up. What are you looking at? I said, the sky. He said, no, no. He said, you are looking at the roof of God's church. He said, and every day when you walk on the earth, which is God's, the floor of his church, if you can't be a good Christian, going to church of a Sunday is not going to do it for you. Yeah. And I look at people and I go, no one has the right to judge another human being. Right. Because I want to know if there's somebody that is judging another human being, please tell me when did God right. resign his job and yeah. ask you, a mere mortal, to sit in his place? Yeah. Let me tell you, I got something so wow. very And you're, 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 you're very right that you're right that as human beings, we need to stay in our place. My thing is that my responsibility is to govern my body. Mm -hmm. you know, um, to govern this body, that I'm not involved in any illicit crimes and that I'm doing my best potential um, to further humanity, to help mankind some, some kind of way. That's what he expects of me, that I live up to that potential. That's my responsibility. Let me just, let me just, just deal with the idea of the medium. Yep. Please stand by. I got, I got, I got to get to it. 
Okay. I, I got to say it. I got to get it out of my heart because it's nuts. Because here's the thing. Listen, you know, God wants to walk with man. This is really all he truly wants. When, God, when man was in, in the garden, there was no rules. Mankind is not meant to walk the earth and there's 175 trillion things that you just can't do. This is just not like that. We don't live in that reality. We, we, the, the position that man has on the earth is dominion over this entire planet. If you want it to be a cow, it's going to be a cow. If you, it's whatever you, it shall be as you decree. Now, yeah, the idea of the medium, historically in the Bible, the reason why it was, is because it had to do with being in that fallen state and suggesting that perhaps you're not having direct access to God. Everything is a medium. Everything is a medium. There's, there's, there is no belief system that's not a medium until you get to the place where you yourself are walking with God without no religion. You know, the, the, pro the problem of, with Christianity is that when Jesus established um, his faith, his message, he did not establish Christian religion. He established faith in God without a medium or a mediator. mediator. What, we're pra what we are practicing as enlightened individuals is direct communication and fellowship with God. Yeah. Without anybody necessarily controlling me. So the problem is you don't have, might have a problem letting the pastor be your medium telling you what to do um, or the Bible being your medium telling you what to do, which the Bible itself tells you that the letter kills you. The Bible tells you not to follow the letter. It's in the Bible not to follow the letter. It's in the Bible not to follow the letter. It's in the Bible not to follow the letter. It says it in the Bible. Do not follow the letter because the letter kills. Even Paul said that, he said, I had no covetous desires. He said, I was walking fine with, with God. No covetous desires. Until I seen it in the law, thou shalt not covet. Soon as I saw that, now I have every covetous desire. It's screwing with the noodles. Yeah. Okay? yeah. Okay. Well, I like what you said, yeah. Juan, because I agree with you. Because remember how I we just said, like, uh, amazing grace? We, we, I don't know if we said that on, on film or not, but... You know, I once was blind, but now I see people who have these abilities like Janine, like Tamara, like so many other people, they can hear and see things that we haven't figured out how to do yet. They Very can true. hear God and see God in ways that we have, we are still learning. So I like it, but we're all, we're all conduits to yeah. have that information. Right. And I, I think I said this to you, Prime, one thing that makes me so mad because I get, I get. I get mud slung at me all the time from Christians because I'm reading the missing books of the Bible. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I oh, yeah. um, because in the name I of Jesus, they're so terrorizing you. I get yeah. I get like thrown on my email because I go to India and I study and practice yoga. You know, and my thing is like, why are you a human being putting limits and boundaries on what God can do for individual people? Yeah. Because yeah. they've been programmed right. It's the program. yes. yeah. They're, They're the programmed. It's like the Catholic Church used to say, give me, a, give me a child, a male child from birth, from birth until the age of seven, and I will show you the man. And with me, I do the programming that I deal with. Um, I do that from birth to the age of 10. And I go, that's our programming time. Yeah. 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 Birth, to the age, birth to the age of 10. So, and that's why I do my work, Born to be Free, which is to deprogram the subconscious mind of all of the fears and negative beliefs that we are programmed with during that period of time and take us back to our own soul blueprint, our original soul blueprint, because we were not born with fears and we were not born with negative beliefs yeah. and we were not born judging other people. We were not born with any form of negativity. We were free and we were of God. And I can remember when I was a little girl, love, 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 love all of my religious studies. They, you know, they got me through, you know, primary school. For God so loved the world that he gave his only forgotten son. Whatsoever believeth in me should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. 
John 3.16, and every time that you sit down and you eat food, you bless that. For what we are about Everything to is good. Eat, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Bless yes. your food and thank God for your food. That's All right. of this has been lost. Yeah. yeah, all of it has been lost. And when we're looking at people and people are judging because they've gone through their religion, let's have a look at your religion and let's who, let, let's look who is really behind your religion. Let's look at the Let's yeah. look at the that have set this up to program you to control you. Wake up, people. Yes. Yeah, the 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 uh the, um, Bryce, I just two seconds. The the uh Jesus has been plagiarized. The story is, is not even 100% true the way it's told. Yeah. Um, it's not true. So, you know, the Great Awakening is going to break a lot of hearts. But the thing is, is that we can be one with God without any mediator, you yeah, know. Right. And, 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 and God has many languages. And so based on those two premises that, mm -hmm. you know, one is free. Like, I'm spiritually free. You know what I mean? I can, you know, I'm just, I, don't, I have no guilt or condemnation. There's no condemnation in Christ. We talk about that all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the, the message that Jesus taught was direct fellowship with God. There was no mediator, yep. to be honest with you. There's no mediator. Yeah. So, so really everything is a mediation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even us talking yeah. to the people trying to get them close is somewhat of a mediation until yeah. they themselves have become enlightened and they don't even need a prime. They get or, it and then have a guess what? They don't need to listen to us because yeah, they don't even gotta listen to that's, us. That's no what more. I was saying about how like people yeah. like Tamara and Hadid and these people have these gifts. They they've been able to see something that we're still and they're helping us. Like that's what Tamara does. Uh, before the Great Awakening even started, Tamara, you were doing this. You were helping people. Oh, 40, year, 40 years, dog. Yes, for themselves to be able to, because yeah. like, that's the thing is like with spirituality, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. They can oh, drink. Every single person has yeah. to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, and I started I started out with numerology. I did I did gematria, but I went, well, people are not going to understand this, and how do I create this into, into soul reading charts? So then I worked with it and then brought it down to the numerology. And it's like, and I say to people, you're everything in the universe, everything is based on numbers. We cannot do anything without mathematics. We can't build a chair without mathematics. It yeah. all comes down to mathematics. So why do we human beings think that we're not made up of some sort of a pattern? The whole yeah. of the universe is based on mathematics. So when I do a soul's reading chart for somebody, it's their mathematical equation and that fits into the largest mathematical equation of the universe. So we're all here for a reason. Right. Yeah. But but and we all have we all have that mathematical equation that's connected to our soul's energy. Very true. The the indoctrination is so bad. You have, you've imprinted the mind and into the mind that yeah. this is the devil's work. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then and then, and then you use scriptures to substantiate it. You know that yeah. I, that maybe that may be taken out of context slightly. Okay, you know yeah, what I'm saying? slightly. Just, they used just... to teach. They used to teach primary. You know, they used to teach reincarnation yeah. years about years ago. So if we go and get those but Jesus, and Jesus books, even Jesus even Jesus yeah. Jesus believed in incarnation reincarnation yeah. 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 because because he told Peter he said who do men say that I am and then. Uh, uh, Peter said, some say that you are John the Baptist or Elijah, one of the prophets who came back from the dead. They had yeah. that conversation. And yeah. um, But another thing is that Je Jesus recognized that there were other people who were healers who were not following him. Yeah. So he healing didn't belong exclusive to Christians. That's and right. it's, it's an indoctrination. Yeah. It's, a, it's a divisive strategy of Satan. It's one of his tactics um, to divide us you know, Soros, the the, the, the the intelligence community that we're these guys invest so much money and time and resources and assets into keeping people into this kind of like this, this feuding. Patriotism is the solution. The president knows this. Mr. Kennedy knows this. All the yeah. white hats know that patriotism yeah. is the solution. Praise yeah. your God and lift your voice to the highest heaven. But under the underneath that flag, 
You understand? That's a community where we all come. Don't tell me about your God there. Show me your God. Show me, yes. Show me your God. Yes. So I, I know, and I hope I'm going to say this right. And this is kind of how I feel. Maybe it's because I'm an Aquarius. Well, I, I, I love you, Bryce. I love you. <laughs> so I, do, I do love you too, Bryce. I'll be honest with I love you, Bryce. You. Can I just well, say I some you. blessings over you? I just want to bless, pray that oh. God would bless you with many, many blessings, that they would just flow toward you. Oh, and that's... favor. No, I'm seriously, be honest with you. Because God really should just bless you a lot. Seriously. Oh, that makes me emotional. Thank you. I feel like I I'm am gonna blessed. Tell you, I'm going to tell you something. I know a lot of people, they always talk about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And then they do the most devilish stuff. That's right. They say Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, yeah. In the name of Jesus. You know, <laughs> and they, they text you the evil stuff. They stab you in your back all in the name absolutely, of Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And hey. the thing is, Prime, what I teach in my seminars is, listen, people. What other people think and say about you is none of your business, so long as you know that you're coming from integrity and you are not consciously hurting another human being. Very because true. other people are always going, but the thing is, Prime, is that what they their judgment, what they say and um, about you and what they think about you is not even their words or their thoughts it's how they've been programmed to think and how they've been programmed yeah. to communicate. I so understand. it's not even it's not even coming from that person. I know. And we gotta have compassion. And that's I was just talking to to to, to some of the people on my team, some of my patriots over there and um last night, because they was ready to, you know, I'm ready to put the war paint on and I'm ready to go with us. <laughs> I said, you know what? I would love to. Don't get me started. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started down that path. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that I'm really sensitive. To, when I saw that fallout and I saw that the truth may can make somebody violent, it can make them angry. You know, right. um, you know, yeah. Jerry was very upset. Jerry threw the Bible. Jerry hit the president's flag with President Trump and Kennedy. All because Janine is doing tarot cards, which was not even influencing the whole movement. I mean, the movement is not being guided by the tarot card people. Yeah, you, know like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm not saying I love Janine as a person. I can care what the hell she does. She can work up a purple donkey ass. I could give a flying fire. I don't give a damn what she does. I love her for who she is as a person. And I tell you what, her work has helped a lot of people. It has. She's helped me. I mean, be honest. A lot of people. But the thing is, Prime, it's like my my daughter's father turned around and said to her when she was a little girl, because we were divorced, when you die and go to heaven, you're not going to see your mother because your mother's going to be in hell because of the work she does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I say to people, I said, I am, I said, I am so lucky to have the work. And he ended up that he was gay. He'd been a closet gay and they didn't find out until he died when she was 20. So, so much for he's going to be in heaven and she'll see him in heaven, but she won't see me. Right. <laughs> because, that, I'm gonna, because I'm going to be in hell because I do the work of the devil. It's like, oh, please. Those who are doing the loudest are usually hiding. The play. And that's what, so this is why I see it too. And I, maybe it's because I'm an Aquarius and we're kind of more like whatever. Anyway, I feel like people who are really comfortable with what they believe and really grounded with what they believe don't feel the need to attack others no, if they do something differently. Like, I don't feel the need to go out there and, like, you know, attack somebody else because I'm comfortable. I know God speaks through tarot cards. I know God speaks through astrology and numerology. I understand that God, God doesn't, God comes to us the way we can understand God. You know, you Absolutely. think about there are people who grow up in homes, like your kids, where parents are reading tarot cards. So those kids who grew up with this are comfortable with this. So God's going to use those instruments to touch those people. God is not limited. My And trust me, I know, like reading, going through the missing books of the Bible, there's so much about the Bible that's been edited and changed over time. Oh, God, I can't wait. I can't oh. wait until I can fly back, fly to America and come visit I know. We can just lay it all out on the floor and be like, I ain't going to have the best time. <laughs> we'll go, we will go to Florida with Prime and we'll sit on the yeah. seat and we'll just have a great old time. Hey, bro. Um, one, of the, one of the things that Negative 48 talks about, and we got to know who we're talking to, when we talk about Negative 48, and people say, well, I don't know who he is. Listen, wake your ass up. 
<laughs> we know who he is. That's right. It's like I just say. One, one of the things that he like, says. Uh, like, one of the things thing that he says. Me? One of the things that he says is that we can't limit God's power yeah. to a book. Yeah. And that's, that's the right. message. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. the message of the Great yeah. Awakening. Yeah. You can't say that you embrace this Great Awakening, but you're going to remain in tra and trapped and enslaved to the dogma of Christianity and the Bible. We love the Bible. We look to it for much inspiration and guidance. But our ultimate source of guidance is the Spirit of God that calls us within. Even while we're saving Himself, we created the 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 um, uh, the the, the, uh, the show, the, uh, the movie, the call. Yeah. Answering yeah. the call in your heart. Yeah. 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 And anybody can answer that yeah. call. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And God, if God can take a person who's a. And he can take them and use them. If he can take a billionaire playboy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From New York, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And turn around and turn them to a savior of the world. Yep. He can use anybody. Yep. And they try to come at President Trump. He said, grab him by the listen, man. I've said worse. <laughs> you know the type of things that the film. But I found out, you know what? Himself. I'll pause. You know what I found out? I think it was negative 48 who said this. When he said that, do you know that he was instructed to say that? And do you know why he said that? No, why? Because that's the only way you're going to know if someone's a Baphomet or not. Far out. Like What's he was instructed to say that so we would hear it because it opened up our, we immediately thought, oh my God, you know, a, ma a guy messing with girls. But he, because now all these years later, here we are talking about going, we don't even know what gender certain people were born in, you know? Yeah. And now yeah. and that was why yeah. that's the only way for so like, think about Big Mike. Oh, I know. I know. If you like just grabbed, you would know right away. Like well, there's something going on here, right? That's not absolutely. That's absolutely. not what you were telling. Us. Isn't that wild, though? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Prime, but I was like, when I heard that, I was like, oh, this battle has been so planned in advance that we had even, we had no idea when he said that, like what he was really saying. But we, but that's been the that's been the case as he's got it, like he's gone along, and you sort of like. And you look at it now and you play things back and you go, oh, my God. That's what he was telling that's us. What, that's what he was talking about. Oh, my God. He's talking about that Big Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Prime. Keep going, Prime. Yeah. I, so I, I, I don't want to. Yeah. I, I, listen, because I, I, I love you guys very much. I have a prayer I do at 7 a.m. It's called the Patriots Prayer. Okay. I'm doing that because I started with the Gideon's Army Prayer. And, you know, and I'm going to continue to pray for Gideon's Army. Gideon's Army is... Uh, my home, I built that platform uh, with love and patriotism. There was no religion involved. I didn't go there. Um, I was very careful. I very threaded that needle very carefully. You would go into the chat. It would be nothing but love. Nothing but love. Now, all of a sudden, it's filled with all this toxic hate prime. This, we hate your prime talk, talking about me and all this stuff. And I'm like, this is unbelievable. This is These are the people that I gave all my love and affection to, all in the name of supporting Trump and, and loving God and unity and patriotism and where we go one we go all and i look at this sick thing that has happened all because of religion in the name of jesus christ right you know, it's, it's all right. Jesus christ you know what i'm saying That's it. Yep. but I, start, I started the new prayers on telegram um prime minister original dripster 17 and we're going to do it's called the patriots prayer God lift up the walls around this country we're going to be we're going to come together on our common ground and what we believe which is Freedom and love and equality and, and all that justice. That's what we agree on. We're, we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna be just fine. And uh, we were good before, and we're gonna be fine in the future. You know that that the, the, the days of them kind of leading us and guiding us religiously and spiritually is just over. It's like enough. It's over. Time. It's over. It's yeah. over. You know, and they know. They yeah. know. It's like, and you start you start viewing like seeing people and hearing people speak that are in certain positions, and it's like they know their time's up. Yeah, listen, they I know. love Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. I love Jesus Christ, and I don't have no problem calling you my sister. I don't think that you're doing anything with the devil unless what you're doing is hurting and harming people. And There's no way for me to tell you what spirit is influencing the thoughts that come into your mind. It, you know, and there's no way for me to know every expression of God's many, many, many languages 
his many languages. I need to sit my ass down, mind my business, do what God told me to do. And, um, and that's it. And you know, so that's right. That's that's what I was telling you, you prime, like Tamara can do all these things. And she loves Jesus too. We've talked so much. Oh, about oh my God. That's all I wanted to do as a little girl at Sunday school. I just used to say, people would say to me, what are you going to do when you grow up? I said, I'm going to be like Jesus. Amen. I'm going to be like Jesus. Yeah. You're really emotional. Like, you say that. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what Jesus did. Yeah. This, and I'd be this, this little girl. And it's like, and I'd be there and I, and like with my grandson, because he's like, he's of the, you know, the grade six master soul group. And when he was two and he would go to, you know, to kindy um, and it's like, and all of the little kids would all be going to sleep and having their sleeps, their afternoon sleeps. They would say to him, like, you know, Cooper, come on, we're having a sleep. He goes, no, 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 I go with you. And he would walk around with the with the teacher, and he would tap all of the kids in, and he would go nine 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 to all the kids, and with the babies, he would go over and he'd pat the babies, mm. and then he would lie down and he would have his sleep. I mean, from the mouth of babes. Oh, it's all yeah. about what you do. Love it, loving what you say. Love is what you do. When yeah. people say, "Well, what's my religion?" You watch my religion. You're gonna see my religion from a hundred million miles away. Yeah. You, you, hey, you, you, Prime, yeah. Prime, have you ever seen the movie Heaven is for Real, which is the, the story of little Colton when yes. he was, yes, yeah. when he went to heaven yeah. and visited Jesus, and I mean this little boy, and like, and as Toddy's father said, you know, it's like we didn't talk about this in front of Colton. We didn't talk about this. We didn't talk about that, and he was this little boy, and the amount of ridicule, that yeah. that family got yeah. from from the people that belonged in that community that went to that church. Yeah. Let me let me just say this too about Jesus and a couple of things. Um, Jesus is our number one teacher. He's our teacher for he's our teacher to show us okay um, what matters to him, what matters to God. And what matters is how you treat people. And that's what he came to teach us. He didn't, he did not entrench us in doctrines and rules. He taught yeah. us how to love our brother, um, how to seek justice. Um, yeah. And one of the things that he hated was religion. I mean, he went into the temple with a whip. Yeah. He went, he went in with a whip and he, yeah. Actually, yeah. He, actually, he actually whipped the false yeah. preachers. And, he, and, and another thing, and another thing that happened is when he was, when, when him and his disciples would go out and do the, the works and healing the people who were sick from, from you know infirmity, yeah. you know, yeah. um, you know, his disciples came to him and said, "Master, there, there's a group out there that they're not they're not doing it in your name." And Jesus did not rebuke the the people who were doing healings, who were not doing it as a follower of his. He said, "If they are not against me, then they are for that's me." Right. Yeah, that's right. Not yeah. be not because of their style, because it's some a uh, forbidden style. It is, it is because what they're doing is for the benefit of humanity. And so therefore God is having a problem. Use Absolutely. your logic, use your brain. Yep. But it's the not- thing is, the thing is, Prime, people have been so programmed that they're unable to use their brain. They're unable to use their conscious logic because they have been so indoctrinated know, with a way of being and a way of living and a way to treat people. I can remember at one of my seminars, I turned around and I just said, do you know what, girls and guys? They went, what? And I said, I am a mother. And I said, and many of you are mothers. And I'm telling you now, we didn't have children to hand them over to the military for them to use our children as war fodder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The war the fodder. And now, and now that we learn all of this in regard to why the wars were and the, the meaning behind it and the manipulation of everything, I went, oh, boy, am I angry? Oh, you better believe it. Patriotism is the key. Yeah. The, pres- the president, no, it's patriotism is the most beautiful, powerful movement that's growing in this community. Give our love and our affection to this patriot movement. Yeah. Leave your religion at home when you go home. Okay. Absolutely. You whatever you want to do, man. 
do your thing. Yeah, said something beautiful the other day, Prime, with 48. You said something like, in the new, the new age that we're coming into, that we're entering into, religion's going to crumble and die. Right. It's not going to exist anymore. Absolutely. And, 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 and here's the reason why. It's because the Christ is the revealer. Mm -hmm. So when Christ comes, this great awakening is all the work of the Christ. It's yeah. to expose every lie, to bring yeah. justice to wickedness, to free the righteous, and to transfer all of the wealth and power into the hands of those who will govern rightfully. Okay, right. there's there's going to be no partitions anymore. Yeah. There's going to be these these are artificial div divides. You have seven billion Christian denominations that all hate each other. They don't even see <laughs> they don't even they see that there's something hypocritical. They because they don't even realize it. Yeah, because the thing is, it's a man, it's man-made. Religion is man-made. Right. It's not God-made. It's man-made. Yeah. yeah, we got this yeah. patriot movement. Let, let me say, we got this patriot movement. And I don't care if you're Christian, we got you. You're Muslim, we got you. The Jew, whatever, I don't give a damn what you, that's your business. Just come up, 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 and up. Come up underneath. I'm that's that anointed. So it, you know, you think and fast, and then you can talk. But come up underneath that red, that white, and that blue flag with your love for mankind and for justice. And I believe God will hear our voice. Well, I don't yeah. think there's going to be no problem. Well, yeah. One of the most beautiful thing I've noticed on this movement, if you think about the history of humanity, all this time, this one percent of people, this you know, Illuminati, they've been popped puppeting each nation so that we exactly. come against each other but yeah. as we start to wake up we are yeah. now as humans as the 99 percent we're realizing that we don't have a problem with each other that's why i said in the beginning, like australia when i think about right. humans, I think the people i don't think about your shady government because your shady government is just as shady as our government like those governments that, they're the problem we support australia we support france we support england we support yeah. germany because we it's yeah. the people and we and the people of france support us the people but we're yeah. holding hands together across do that you, world do you know that president trump has friends that worship other gods. They have whole other religious belief system, but for the sake of humanity and to govern this planet rightfully. Yeah. However, in saying that, there is so many, there are a number of roads that go to God. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you travel that road, you travel that road, you travel that road, you travel, but have a guess what? We're going to the one place. You may travel in different roads, but we're going to the one place, to the creator. Yeah. The creator. Yeah. So I don't have a problem how you're going to get there. Yeah. I don't have a problem. So why should you have a problem how I'm getting there? Right. It's like or I how they're, Or how they're getting there or how they're getting it's part, there. It's, it's, part, it's part of the indoctrination. Yeah. One of the Absolutely. things is that we, we, we talk about reflection all the time. Yes. We talk about reflection all the time, negative 48 and the decodes, and now we're going to do the reflection. We need a mirror in the church. The yes. church yes. needs a mirror. Yeah. But church Michael did that. What about Michael's song, Man in the Mirror? Yeah. What did Michael said about? They don't really care about us. What yes. did they do? We are the world. Uh, what did they uh, do? Earth song. I mean, you know, and to talk to that, to talk to that guy, I'm so, I'm so, like, <laughs> privileged that I had the opportunity to actually spend time with him and just talk, talk to him, Michael Jackson, on you the phone. Tell Tamara, yeah. uh, Prime, do you know Tamara's yeah. mystery? She's worked with like Lionel, very closely with Lionel Richie, with a bunch of people. Yeah, so she's. She's that's crazy. She's got a really cool. Oh, but, story. You know, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people over there that I would just walk away from, and they would go, "Can you do my charts?" I go, "No, no." I have got really strong gut feelings about people, and I would, I was offered a, a lot of money, and the people that created Anthony Robbins wanted to work with me and create me, and they changed the clause at the last minute in the contract, and I wouldn't sign it. I said, "I'm not signing that." And they said, well, then we can't go ahead with this. I said, so? And they said, you're walking away from millions of dollars. I said, I'm walking away with my integrity. And I got on a plane and flew home to Australia. I salute you, my sister. That's a real one. Yeah, well, I don't need a big house. I don't need all the money. Let me, let me just tell you my history with Michael Jackson because, you know, he. Oh, he no. 
Really? Let me just tell you my history with Michael Jackson because I had, <laughs> when I was a little yeah. kid, I, when I was a little kid, I had the glove, I had the leather pants, um, yeah. I had the Jerry curl, <laughs> and then with my mom, my mom when they were partying on the weekends, they would call me downstairs and say, "Baby, do the Michael Jackson." I've, I've always loved Michael Jackson. <laughs> I always loved Michael Jackson. I did the original documentary about Michael Jackson being alive and working. And um, yeah. I did that original documentary and then he co-signed it. And um, he co-signed it on Telegram and people would call me and say, yo, Prime, Michael Jackson, put your video up, your documentary up. And um, so, you know, when I, when I delve into his spirit of Michael Jackson, you know, he's such a hero. Yeah. And um, he, he has an angelic voice. For some reason, his voice is a frequency that's uh, nobody's got that still to this day. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has that vibration that he has. Yeah. That's a healing voice. It's just like it's just it's just like it's it's meant to radiate. He was a, he was the most popular person in the world next to Jesus Christ. I know. And, and that's why and, that's why they had to go. We've got to get rid of him. He's got too much power. But he's a white hat, you know, and a smooth criminal. You know, he had a white hat. He's a white hat. And uh, he, 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 I believe he gave all his money and his wealth um, to the plan and um, to fight to save the world and to save the children that he knew much about. He was a part of as a Absolutely. kid. He was abused horribly. And um, he's such a hero. The people need to know this. He wasn't a yeah. um, He was live. Well, I was like, I was on Australian television back then. And they sort of, they interviewed me and I said, no, nah, he wasn't. And I mean, and they would just, oh, well, we all know, they, we all know what they did, what they said about him. And no, nah, I stood my ground. When it I know. Projected. Something, yep. Oh, they were doing onto him. They projected it. That's what, that's they what. Projected, like they they projected onto him what they were doing, what they were doing. And I thought, you will live to regret this, you guys. Right. And let me tell you, he's coming back, him. I know. Coming back. And he's going to touch the stage again. Yep. And there's a day that's coming within the next year or so. Yeah. He's going to sing to the world. Yep. A yep. Lot. Do you know yep. who else, uh, what other musician I just learned is probably alive too? who was also extremely talented and had a very powerful voice, Freddie Mercury. Oh, <gasps> no. Yeah. I heard oh, my that. God, you're kidding me. I'm serious. Could you imagine the two of them together in a show? Oh, I, I think it's going to be oh all of them. God. I think it's going to be all of them. I think they're going to bring them all out, you know, and uh, it's going to be something. It's, it's going to be a day. The conscience of mankind is going to be broken. The chains are going to fall off on that day, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. The chains are going to fall off. I mean, with everybody that, that we know is really still alive and has been alive, people are just going to, excuse my language, Prime, but they're going to lose their shit. Oh, don't excuse me, shit away, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know, 48, he was telling me, that he, and I know he mentioned it on several broadcasts, but the, the stars, their role in this whole movement is that they're going to they're going to be the guides for the people who are waking up. That they, the people that they know, the people that they love, that they listen to, the Whitney Houston's, all of the great That's celebrities, it. Elvis Presley, yeah. are going to come yeah. forward and say, "Listen, I've been alive all this time under this protection program to tell you the truth about the music industry in Hollywood. Oh they lied to God. us. They lied to us. And people are going to be looking at their stars. They're going to be looking at." Michael Jackson and Prince and Kobe Bryant and people that they adore and they're going to say, yeah. wow, oh my God. And the people are going to turn their hatred and their anger on that 1%, the lizard people that we talk about. And it's like, like as we were talking with Sid Bryce, it's like you've got your, you've got JFK Jr. Um coming you know with him coming back and it's like that's going to freak out the whole of america right. and then who else is it that has the the power to freak out the whole of the world is princess diana yeah like you yeah. get them she then you there, get right? then you get then you get these incredible like with your michael your freddie mercury all of those all coming the world up knows. And taking, yeah 
and taking I to the it. stage, it's like people are just going to, oh, my God. I'm That's sure that there are, like, Bollywood actors that we don't know because Bollywood's huge in India, and they idolize their Bollywood stars in India, and I'm sure that there are some Bollywood actors and actresses that have also left that are going to come back for them and be like, I'm alive and this is what's going Cause I know Bollywood's just as dirty as Hollywood is. But I heard what I heard was that Freddie Mercury is going to come back and work with the LBGTQ community to explain to them what they did to that community. Like not yeah. that, that being gay is wrong. It's, it's, a, it's okay to be gay, but like how they use that group of people yeah. use their pain kind of like with yeah. like, Use this pain to then yeah. push their agenda forward. It, to push their agenda, it's all it's right. been I all about to. all about all about their agenda, all about their not agenda. Not about us, not about our humanity, but about them. No, nope. right. I gotta I gotta salute both of you because I gotta get ready for Patriots prayer at seven o'clock. All right, uh, I mean, I want, I'm a quite crying from now on too. <laughs> I want to send my love to you, and, um, <laughs> to you as well, my sister, and to your audience. Peace, protection, wisdom, and power all around you. In the name of Yeshua, the one who will save us. God bless you, my sister. Love you, Prime. We'll talk to you soon. You to you soon. Bye. 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 And tomorrow, we'll, if you have some time, I'll keep chatting with you because isn't that wild about oh, Freddie Mercury? I love oh, Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's my... He's my favourite. I keep on watching that. Like I said to you, I've got every movie on the Kennedys. I've got every documentary. I've got every book. I've got every movie, every documentary, every book on Diana. And whenever there's anything on television to do with Queen, I'm, I'm watching it. And I've watched it over and over and over again. Whenever it comes on, I'm like, oh, my God, I love Freddie. Well, I went back and when I found that I went back because I know all of his songs. I love I love Queen as well. And I went back and listened again with a different set of ears to some That's of his songs. Right. He was yes. telling us. He was, he was the Elzebub has a devil put aside for me. Yes. We know in Hollywood and it's all yeah. the same. They're all connected. They they do that. Um, somebody yeah. to love. Each morning I get on my knees and I pray. Like he's yes. he was telling us what was yep. going on and he genuinely and all of those guys lionel richie freddie murphy michael jackson all of those guys back then had powerful actual powerful vocals they weren't yep. using computers to make them sing they could actually sing sing you no know? but, so, but they all but they all wrote their own songs they did they did the melodies they did the words they did everything like Lionel, you know, I sat with him once and it's like he, when we were at the house um, in, um, in Ballet and he said, hey, come up, come up to the studio. So I went up to the studio and he was sort of like, tell me, what do you think of this? And he was playing like a tape on something and I went, wow. I said, that's gorgeous. He said, you like that? And I said, yeah. I said, that's amazing. I said, so I said, is that in three, four time? Or are you going to do that in three, three time? And how many minims and quavers do you have in that? And he just looked at me. And he said, what are you talking about? And I said, well, you know, like what time? Because um, I, would, I taught piano. Yeah. You know, I started playing piano when I was four. And I started teaching when I was 13. And then, and then he sort of looked at me and he said, I can't read music. And I went, what? <laughs> what? He said, no. He said, I can't read music. All I do is I go, hmm, 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 And he, yeah. It's and he, he, would, yeah. he would put that on a tape and then take that to somebody that would, and, and, and one of his, um, it was his housekeeper, and the housekeeper said to me once, he said, how do you do what you do? And I went, oh, gee, how do I do what I do? And Lionel was there and he said, well, it's like a radio. It's like a radio and it's like the radio is being turned and it's tuned and then you just pick up a station. He said, and she, he said, and she just hears. And I looked at him and I said, how do you know that? And he said, because that's what it's like with me. It's like it's a radio. I hear. I hear. It's beautiful. He gets the words because of the he's tuned in. He gets the melody. And Michael was the same. He said when he walked into Motown, he said, I thought I was like it was like it was heaven. 
because all of these people are walking around humming to themselves. He said, and there was Michael walking around humming and all of these people were humming. And he said, and then I would talk to them and they went, oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is how I get it. This is how. It's so beautiful. I know. You're channeling that 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 was that was a part like like you do, like Janine does. Like they were all it's channeling. The channeling, channeling, channeling the melody, channeling the words, the lyrics. Yeah, it's amazing. So beautiful. I can't wait. I tell you, Janine, I and I know this might sound mean, but after we with the conversation we just had with Prime, I can't wait for all of these institutions, including the church, including Hollywood, just to totally crumble. So yes. we can allow yeah. people to just do tune into God and do their purpose because we all have a purpose. That's it. You know, and like I just said to Prime, for me, Janine is, like I said, she's my angel. I listen, you know, I, I'll tune in and I'll go, wow, wow, look at her go, you know. She goes, it's, right. She just she goes. goes. She yeah. goes. And it's like. And, and like I said before, it's like in regard to Hawaii, how the white man went there and it's like his Uncle George taught me and he said they forbade us from having our religion. So we created hula. We created hula and we created chanting. So our religion was in the form of the chanting and the movement of the hands. What's that? That's symbolism. Yeah. Yeah, so are the church is the church now, or the people that are against Priney and whatever it was that actually happened, are they also going to go to Hawaii and go, oh, the hula, and you're chanting? You can't do that because that's a gift of the devil. Oh my God! I know it's. I told. I think I told Prime this offline. I can't remember who I said to this, but you know, I um, because I spent so much time in India. When I was there one day, uh, my first trip there, I accidentally ended up in the slums. And I don't think it was an accident. I think God sent me there so I could see what true poverty really looks like. And I was yeah. so affected by it that immediately I started working with other yoga studio uh, students to get that were there to get money together to go buy them things they needed because this was like true poverty. And so I ended up starting this like foundation where we, whenever we go to India, we raise money and like $10, 10 American dollars can is buy a huge. child medication for a year That's there. Huge. So your That's money, we, all the money we raise, we don't take any of it. We use all of it for, to, to buy rice for them, to whatever they need, you know, a doctor, whatever they need, toys for the kids. And um, when I came home after my first trip and I was trying to raise money for when I went back, I literally had somebody say to me, get this. They said to me, why would I give you money to help little Hindu children when they're going <gasps> to hell anyway? A Christian told me that. Why would I give you money to help little Hindu children when they're going to go to hell anyway? And I was like, are you Whoa. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. I, the oh, Jesus yeah. that I know, the Jesus I pray to, would give those little Hindu children the shirt off his back. The Jesus I know was on the cross. He wasn't saying for those who follow me. He was saying for everybody. I shed my blood for everybody. I yeah. was horrified. And I had somebody say to me too once, because a lot of the kids in the slums in India are not born in hospitals, so they have no paperwork. They're, they don't exist on paper. And so when something happens to their guardians, their parents, whatever, they get And so we started working with a yeah. safe house in the area to help get children into safe houses that had elder, like their parents were gone, something was going on, just to get them into safety. Um, and I started working with that. And I had someone say to me, well, do you tell them about Jesus? And I was like, so you mean to tell me when I've got a, like a three-year-old little girl who doesn't speak a lick of English and I don't speak Canada and I'm trying to get her into a safe house so that she can actually have life. You think that I'm supposed to sit there and like only save her if I can tell her about Jesus. And, I went, and like Prime said, no, my actions might've told her about Jesus. So the fact that this white lady came and yeah. like got her even yes. though it was traumatic to leave her home, but yes. but gave her a yeah yeah. I mean, it, was like, it was like it was like when when Princess Diana went and visited um, Angola, and she was with that the bed the bedside of the little girl whose insides had actually been blown out. 
And this little girl said to um, the journalist whose surname is Lamb, I can't remember her Christian name now, um, but she, she said to her, you know, in her language, um, who's that? It Was that, that an angel? And the journalist said to her, she said, no, she said, that's a lady from far away from England, a princess that's come to visit you. And she said, and this, this girl said, she said, and it was a few hours later that this little girl died. But she said, I just went, how beautiful that this little girl died thinking that an angel had come to visit her. She had experienced love, true love, unconditional. That makes me emotional. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I think a lot of times people in like Australia, America, Canada, Europe, our lives are so comfortable in the Western world. I mean, like not right now, obviously in Australia, you guys are pretty uncomfortable right now, but for the most part. No, no, no we're not. We're not. We're comfortable because have a guess what? It's like, it's like we've got roofs over our heads still. It's like we're, we're eating, you know, and this is what I say to people. It's, it's like, you know, you have to like a lot of people are going through a lot emotionally but it's like, boy, oh, boy, I wonder how you would cope living over there or having those sort of conditions if you're cracking up under these conditions. Yeah. Exactly. No, I, I, when I experienced the slums, it taught me such a valuable lesson because regardless of how much money you have in the West, when you go to India, you're wealthy. And sitting in that poverty and seeing people that don't even have bathrooms. They're having yes. to go outside. And yes. when we go and buy toys for the kids in the slums, we have to damage the toys before we give it to them because they do have slum lords and the slum lords will take what we bring and then try to sell it on the black market. So the fact that yes. we even have to like yes. slightly damage a toy before we give it to a child so that the slum lords won't take it from the child. You know, the fact that like, my boyfriend, when he was with me one wow. time, we went and got all this rice. Now, the government in India is supposed to subsidize that and bring them rice, but they don't sometimes. And my boyfriend, we got all this rice because that's their main supplement and their culture is rice. And we had the women of the slum go and get their pots and line up at the rickshaw and just get buckets of rice where they would just come get their buckets. And after we were done, we were leaving, leaving, and this woman came up and she like fell to the floor of my feet, my boyfriend's feet. And was just thanking him because he gave her enough rice. He makes me emotional. He gave her enough rice to feed her family that week. Wow. And, I mean, we, yes. we take for granted the fact that I, we have a cabinet full of food. We have so much food that we have to throw it out sometimes because it goes bad. Yep. And all the people in the Western world don't understand, like, and that's why I get mad when people are like, why well, I'm not going to give money because those are Hindu kids. I'm like, those are human beings that were created by right. God. In that's love, right. Just like they created you, just like they created your children. Right. You that's are right. blessed to be in a you yeah. know to be in a world where you're you know well, you, I mean you're you're a lot more polite than me because I would have turned around and looked at them and said, Good luck when you die. Good luck when you die if you've got an attitude like that. Just good luck. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, Victor Hugo wrote, to love, it, to love another person is to see the face of God. Absolutely. And that's what yep. Jesus said, love thy God with all thy heart and love each other as I have loved, loved you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell, you what was, I'll tell you what was interesting when um, Primey was just saying how Jesus, like, took the whip, yep, into the church. And do you remember, I think it was the last time we spoke, and I said there was a vision of Trump in a chariot with fire coming out of the back of the chariot, coming down from the skies, and he had a whip. He was cracking a whip. Oh, yeah. So it's called Bring It On. Yeah. Bring It On. Yeah. All right, hon. Oh, I love you so much, Tamara. Thank you so I love much. You. Oh, thank you. I just had the best time with Prime. Well, well, and we're we're gonna. I have uh, so for everybody watching, we're connecting tomorrow with 
negative 48 as well. So, um, so yeah, we yeah. are. I'm going to, I'm going to connect you. I talked to Gabby about getting you on the private stuff. So no. yeah, so I'm going to give her your phone number too. So I'm going to get, get that information to him for you. And I'm also for everybody watching, cause I know you guys love Tamara and Janine are like the most requested guests I have. And we are going to, I'm going to work on getting them on a show together so <laughs> I tried it, did that, but it was like one o'clock in the morning yeah, it was like last yeah. minute yeah, yeah so yeah, um, was, i get a message i get a message from bryce and she just said um i don't know where you're at or what you're doing but i've got janine available so if you're available do you want to do something now and it was one o'clock in the morning yeah. and I, i'm just about to hit the sheets doll i know <laughs> i know i know that's the hard part is because we're scattered everywhere janine i know and i'm done in one you're in the other um yeah We'll, we'll we'll get it eventually with you two together. And I did. I told Janine that you said she was your angel. Like when I spoke to her off camera, and you know that's the thing I want to say to everybody who's watching us, who's not on, doesn't have a channel. First of all, for those of you watching us right now, we're not separate from you. We're all in this together. Even though we have our channels, you're one of us. Like we're all in this together. Um, yeah. And and even off camera with those of us who have channels, we are all friendly and friends with each other. You know, that's why it was so upsetting for Prime and for us to see that happen with one particular person where he started throwing the book at other people in this community when we're all in this together, you know, and that love should come through from everybody. So I know that, Jenny, I know we're all excited to work together. So, um. you know, the thing that I just got through in regard to that, when the light gets stronger, those that are still carrying the dark inside of them will be exposed that's amazing i'm gonna send this to prime too so he sees that yeah it's like the light's getting brighter so it's shining out even the the darkest and that's not to say we all have stuff to work on guys we're all, we're all working on stuff but and like open. absolutely yeah. yeah we're all open to changing the way we think i know all of us are like oh we see information that challenges something we've been told to think that we usually sit back and work on ourselves then and and try and and i i'll tell you i told this to janine too um, so this whole week I've been struggling with a low grade fever and, Whoa. um, I learned in yoga in traditional yoga that in every time you are creating a new pattern within yourself, like a new thought pattern, you usually get a fever. They call yeah. it the yoga, the yoga sickness and same right. with viruses, like viruses in traditional medicine are not bad because they are right. an upgrade. They're upgrading you. And I yeah. got my, my, I got the fever after my first long conversation with negative 48 because so he said so much stuff that was different than how I had been taught to believe. And I believed him. So I feel yeah. like this whole week, my body's been like processing the old yeah. stuff out in order yes. to make way for the new, but a lot yeah. of people reject the new in order to hold on to the old, you yeah. know. And so um, it's it's and yeah, it, you're right. It's safe. Yeah. That's safe for them. It's safe for them. So all you can do basically is love them. Just send yeah. them love. Yeah. You know. So whoever this person is that's doing this or has done this with Prime, if you can just send me the name of the person, and I'll just send them love. Yeah. Send them love. Yeah. 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 And I do think the real fundamentalist Christians, maybe fundamentalists in all religions are going to have the hardest time when the great awakening fully hits. They will. They will. Absolutely. They will. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Lionel, Lionel's song, Lionel, yes, love will conquer all. Yep. There yeah. we are. Yep. He sung it. Yeah. That's his song. Yep. Yeah. All well, right, honey. I love I you. you some other stuff we wanted to talk about, but we brought Prime on to do that. But you want to just contact me. We'll schedule another show too to go over some other things too. So okay, next Friday, perfect. Same day. Right here first, guys. <laughs> Our date night. Thank you so much. So I cannot wait same to see you. Same, 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 same day, same day, same time next week. <laughs> yes, yes. And well, I can't wait. Like when you when we're gonna get to see each other and hug you and go shopping with you. you I know. <laughs> So, all right. a lot, hey? <laughs> yes. Well, and uh, lots of love to y'all in Australia. Give your grandson a big old hug from us too. And you yeah. know, he's a strong little boy. I know all the children there are strong, but we are yeah. no, we are really praying for you guys, Australia. We know this will be over soon, but hold the line. We yeah, have your back. Line, guys. Absolutely. I mean, all the truckies, because they've cut off all communication. Yes. 
I saw that. Between, they've cut off all communication, but if you actually see the map, you'll see. And they said, just go onto Google Maps and you'll see where we all are. So that's how we know what they're doing. But I'm telling you, the media and everything, it's like they are shitting themselves. Yes. All the truck drivers in Australia, you're getting a virtual high five from all of us Americans. And even though us Americans or from Canadians, French people, whoever's watching, even though we can't be with you guys physically, we are with you guys in spirit and we stand with you guys in Australia. So hold the line. We've got you. So anyway. All right. Uh, tomorrow. So we will talk to you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye, honey. Bye.